is miserable Monday. So tired. Why am I tired? Okay, because I worked too many dang hours this weekend. Uh, I don't want to be tired. I want to be pumped up. I want to be amped. I want to be able to do great things or something like that. I get. I get. I didn't accomplish enough today, at all. But um, I still have some time. It's two fifty four p.m. I should have this podcast delivered much earlier, and I did not because I'm being lazy. Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. But here's my thoughts for today. I had someone come up to me. Hey, what kind of session are you going to run today? Are you going to be? Are you going to be working on first defender attacking? Uh, uh, you know, uh, skill development. What are you doing? I'm like, uh, none of that. I'm uh, I'm I'm working on how to convince little people to train at home convince them to love the game that's all i could do that that's what i need to do is somehow convince them to train at home and love the game if i can do that i've done more than most coaches can it's not about the right drill and all that i I, i'm dealing with the youth as far as developing players but i'm trying to develop them to the point of making soccer part of their culture that they love it for a lifetime and that's what i'm gonna do and that's what i'm gonna do tonight hopefully convince them convince families to love the game watch the game champions league is tomorrow that i'm excited for that um that's what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna tell you something kobe bryant i'm not not a basketball fan uh but he said some profound things um in this interview i saw and he was talking about separating himself from his competition and how he did it besides he's an athletic freak and all that but there's a lot of athletic freaks that you know he obviously competes with but the difference with him is he understand a simple math formula of one plus one equals two and two plus two equals four and that kind of stuff uh what he understood was he all he had to do is simple math of outworking his opponent typically his competition would train two hours a day that's it that's all they got so he found times that he could uh, create a two-hour session in the morning and two-hour session in the afternoon and then do his two-hour uh, normal training session with his team and then stay later and do another hour, two hours. He, he just did a simple math formula, figuring his competition would do 10 hours a week and he would do 60 and change it where he was... Um, constantly adding to that so after four weeks eight weeks six months a year of doing that he would be so far on his number of reps that the competition cannot catch him that's why you need to love the game if you love the game you're getting the reps because you love it that's why you need a soccer board at home you need to do skill of the day and all that stuff and i need to provide more but you could do your own you could create your own you can take a soccer board and make your own your own uh, routines and stuff, but you have to learn to love it. And if you love it, you'll do it more. It's kind of like your job. I love my job. That's why I'm doing 80 plus hours a week. I love it. So th- that's what you need to do. Fall in love with it. And obviously, if you ever get a job that um, you're trying to do for a lifetime, make sure you love it. And then life's different. Don't worry about the money. Worry about loving things. Like your, your spouse. I love my wife. I think I'll keep her. Um, maybe I should work less and just focus on her. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Eighty hours a week. You know, stay away a little bit. Keeps keeps uh, keeps you married. I think. Not sure. Still learning. Twenty. We're coming. Twenty three years of marriage coming up. Or is it twenty four? I think it's twenty three. Uh, you believe that? We're like unicorns. Oh, look, a unicorn. You never seen one of those before. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, this uh, this got really uh sideways this episode i don't know how i went from that to that but i'll re-listen to it have a great monday it is terrible monday see you tomorrow tomorrow is my special guest jack to talk about his seven day fast from Fortnite, which he failed but he did he did uh have some success i'm out peace the podcast you just heard was made using anchor ever thought about making your own podcast Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. 
Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.